Hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I'm going head to head with more of The Graham Norton Show. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers, and especially returning subscribers, so. For any of you joining me for the first time, welcome. First and foremost, I am so glad you are here. This is part of a reaction series I am doing to The Graham Norton Show. I found a collection of videos on YouTube called Try Not To Laugh. I've been working my way through those. This is volume five. I am so excited, but as I said, this is a reaction video, meaning I will probably be talking during it. I may even be pausing the original content here and there. So if you want to see it in its entirety without my commentary, I completely understand. As I said, the link is below. But for those of you who want a YouTube friend to watch with you, whether it's your 1,000th time to see this or your first time like me, I am so glad and I am here for you for that. I will tell you quickly before we jump in, if you'd like to see the full length version, unedited, the good, the bad, the ugly, of other things we watch on the channel, like the movies and the TV shows, as well as early access to most videos like this and others, you can find that over on my Patreon, patreon.com slash David versus film. We also have Discord benefits over there, poll voting and more, so please check that out. I am always appreciative that you watch here on YouTube. However, I only ask that you please consider subscribing, liking, sharing. If you find value in this video, it's completely free to you and it really helps me out. So thank you in advance for that. And last but not least, if we're not friends on Instagram, let's be friends. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to watch more of Graham Norton. Volume five of Try Not to Laugh, which I can tell you I'm already gonna fail because I see there's Joan Rivers. And so many of you have told me, wait to get a Joan Rivers. I, I'm already excited before we get started. So here we go. Age sucks if you gotta face it. <laughs> but it is it because America is really so youth obsessed. I mean, how, oh. and, and, and in the film you show, you know, kind of that it is hard for a woman of your age to get the jobs. It's beyond difficult. The only jobs really left now for women, unless they get friendly with people to do films. <laughs> but, uh, Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> the only jobs left are really commercials. I just thank God, my I made my yearly nut this year on a, a product called Girly, which is for dry vagina. And it's, um, <laughs> is it here yet? <laughs> Well, anyone knows the heartbreak of dry vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I was perfect for it. <laughs> Camels follow me home. <laughs> Three Jewish men are trying to rent my uterus instead of going to Miami. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's the best. But, oh. but thank God for these commercials. There's one called an, uh, uh, Zestra. Has that come here yet? <laughs> Sorry, just... It's like women's uh, Viagra. Has that happened here yet? It's women's Viagra. And uh, they had this big discussion with me. Should they make it in pill form? This is honest to God truth. It was in the newspapers. Pill form or cream? Because... They didn't know which would do better, and they finally decided these idiots will do it in cream because if it's in pill form in a bar, a man can drop it oh, in a yeah, yeah. drink. True, and she like won't a roofie. It. But if you're in a bar and a guy goes, So where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She is the best. I'm telling you right now, RIP, gone too soon, as they say. I just, she, it was just hilarious. And that kind of thing right there is exactly what I expect from Joan Rivers and exactly what I love of Joan Rivers. So I cannot wait. I hope I see more of her on this. A lot. Uh, Charlize no, Theron. No, I was just, I was not there, there. She's so pretty. Out. You're like the first person who said it perfectly. Really? Yes. I'll stop now. I won't, yes. I won't say it again. It's amazing. 15 years, and then you came along. Don't <laughs> change us here. Now, by the way, you guys, do you know each other outside of being back there or on a sofa? I know John. Who's that? Coogan? Oh, I love Coogan. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you real quick about Coogan. I I don't know him from a lot, but I really know him from Philomena with Dame Judi Dench, and I, I love that movie. I He's so, so, so good. And briefly, I saw him in Hot Fuzz, but yeah, I like, I like Coogan. You know that's not 
real. I know, I know. <laughs> um, now, it is Jubilee weekend. Uh, do you have plans? Uh, anybody got plans? For Jubilee I, uh, I didn't realize it was Jubilee weekend, but when I got here, I got in town uh, a couple days ago and was invited, uh, I guess, to sit next to the queen. <gasps> oh. um, wow. On the boat. No, you're joking. The, uh, Good job, Ham. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, no, were you joking? Sort of not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know her. <laughs> It's a long thing, and what are we going to talk about? <laughs> I don't own crowns or, or tiaras. Or, no, I don't know if you're I'll... joking or not. Are you joking? Oh, no, I'm completely joking. Yeah, exactly, yeah, he's totally joking. He, he, he has been invited on the boat. I'm really confused now. Are you invited <laughs> on the boat? No. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Did you lie to him as well? Lie to me as well. Yes. Sean. <laughs> It's a great story. It really is. I didn't even know there was going to be a boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. At least you were thinking, how the yeah. fuck did <laughs> Do they know I have an Oscar? <laughs> Do they not know? It's just another thing you don't have in common with the Queen. <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty good. Now, Charlize Theron. Mm. Now, we're delighted you're here for all sorts of reasons. I'm so happy to be here. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. <laughs> He is something else. <laughs> See, in episode one, the doctor's thing. Oh, yeah. Davies. Really yeah. Love me some Davies. I, my mom will kill me for telling this because it was my... Uh, All because uh, you guys. I will tell you real quick before, get, before he gets going, because God knows I want to hear it because I love his stories. You guys are the reason that I know about him and, and others and about Wilty and about uh, Taskmaster, like I said, I can't wait to get into... All because of you guys. So thank you again for bringing my attention to how amazing Greg Davies is. And by the way, before we get going, I see Rupert there. I don't know the comedian's name in between. I love her from Spy, 50 Cent Piece. I love her too. She's so funny. I, I He'd been our family, my doctor since I was a child. And I, but I went to, as an adult because I, I was, there was something wrong with my bum. <laughs> You said bum, you looked at me, you looked me in the eyes, and I'm sorry. Un I'm, sorry. Oh, no. I mean, I'm aroused and unnerved and equal. <laughs> there was something, but there on. was something wrong with my bum. <laughs> <laughs> the way she inhales. Yeah. Uh, and I was, uh, I said, there's this thing wrong with my bum. And he went, okay. And I went, so, what do you think? He goes, well, it'll probably be all right. Oh, Jesus. I, said, well, I'd, um, I would really like it. I, I'd like you to just... If you could make me feel better about... If I feel better that it will be all right. And he went, it, um, it'll probably clear itself up. And I said, yeah, but... Is there any way I could be sure? And he went, ah... Oh. You want me to put my finger up there, don't you? <laughs> Magically <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the other, I think, I mean, maybe maybe there's a reason, but what is the reason that you film it in the school you used to teach in? I think it's therapy, probably. <laughs> I'm in the actual classroom where I taught, because I was oh, that's just cool. the going, a real teacher for a long time. Yeah, you guys I told me he was a teacher. Yeah, but six years in the school that we film it, in the classroom that I'm going mad in. And I, that's, but that's weird. That was my classroom, yeah. That's but cool. you did it for such a long... Did you ever enjoy it? Was there ever a moment when you thought, oh, I like this? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I met some very nice people there. And the kids must have liked you. You were nominated for Teacher of the Year, weren't you? Yes, I was, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, yes. I've told this story many times, but... Uh, <laughs> teacher of the Year is a very prestigious award that's taken very seriously and rightly by the hard-working teaching community. And my head teacher called me in and he was wetting himself laughing. In fact, he couldn't stop laughing for the first ten minutes. And he went... I went, what? Why have you called me here? He goes, you've been numb. <laughs> you've been numb. <laughs> I've got this... A Teacher of the Year award, you've been nominated. <laughs> 
I went, oh, okay. And um, it was by a very sweet girl called Gemma, who I've humiliated many times. <laughs> it's a six-page document that people have to fill in for the reasons why you should be nominated for Teacher of the Year. It was blank, <laughs> uh, aside from one sentence that she'd written on it, which was the reasons why you think he should be Teacher of the Year, and she'd written, he's a well good laugh, and he don't make us do no work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got my vote. Why haven't we seen Studying more my teacher of vote. you two together? <laughs> oh, this is old Graham, vintage Graham. It's a pairing. It really it's is. A it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, um, Jackie Chan. Yes. Jackie Chan. Jackie uh, Chan. Yeah. Well, I haven't done that once. I'm very <laughs> super, I'm sitting on my hands. I'm going, Jackie Chan. I'm not doing it. Because is it true that everyone just goes, Jackie Chan? Yeah. I, oh, my gosh. I really hate that, you know. <laughs> Whenever I go, you know, in Europe, in America, especially the father with the children, look, Jackie Chan. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Now, obviously, I know Jackie Chan. I, I don't recognize the other, the other lady. I, I hope they say who she is because I don't know her. Why, why nobody see Robert De Niro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. A Robert De Niro. Wow. Dustin Hoffman. Jackie Chan. <laughs> they wish they could one get that day, kind of intro, day, though, right? Oh, people. Wow. That's a Jackie Chan. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to restrain myself. <laughs> you, you just come from the the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, Cannes Film Festival. Uh, do you enjoy things like that? Are they fun, or is it just like business? The, 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 the whole thing about the, those big uh, events, they call all the, you know, particularly in Cannes, those red carpet things. And do you enjoy them? Do you like doing them? Uh, no, I can't do any of that. I really can't. Well, I've seen you. I did go, well, have you on a red carpet? I don't think so. No, have you? I don't know her. She seems like she'd be a good storyteller, though. Not much, to be honest. But, you, but you've, you've done posh things. You've, you've I like her style, with, hair. You've met the Queen, haven't you? I have met the Queen, yes. I have met oh. the Queen. At, um, I think it was a, uh, one of those receptions for people in the arts. You should have been there, Graham. Funny, I wasn't. You were mm. in the <laughs> Yes, I was. Yeah. Okay. You with your dirty, potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was... Well, you know what I was amazed at with the Queen? Oh, she's very tiny, which is something for me to say, because I'm quite short. And she moves as if on rollerblades. <laughs> she just slides up like that. As if no actual walking sky. I don't know what's going on under there. <laughs> she might be on casters for all we know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. As she comes to where you are, the group where you are, uh, for a start, you have, to, you have to tussle with that whole idea of will you curtsy, won't you curtsy, will you curtsy? And I decided before, no, look, curtsying, it's no, I'm not going to bow down before Royal. I'm not going to. And then immediately mm. you do. <laughs> yes, I would, I, that's what I think. I've <laughs> always said that. I, I feel, just quickly, I feel like even watching The Crown, when, you know, Prince Philip in that anyway, they dramatize it where her husband has, you know, like, reservations about bowing to her or, or you know pledging an oath or whatever it was and i just i feel like though that when you get in the room though when you get there like of course you do yeah <laughs> it's really revolting and then um, of me i mean and then and then the queen says a small there was a group of about four of us around her and she says a very small thing you know so are you enjoying the evening and everybody goes like this <laughs> 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 So they, yeah. please, don't want to be beheaded or something. I don't know. <laughs> so the Queen, I'm sure, must think that she's a great comedian or something. That's true. That's all she sees is people. Everybody kissing your ass. Fawning and <laughs> fawning. <laughs> and See, she's good. I knew she'd be a good storyteller. I was doing it. Why was I doing it? I, do, I don't know. Right, have you met the Queen? Yes, I do. You met Jack yeah, Jack Jack I Jack was in Hong Kong. I remember and. Uh, long, long time ago. Oh, my, my English is so bad in that time. I uh, remember when Queen, uh, raise your hand, you raise your hand, otherwise you're standing here, blah, 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 blah. And you Roy, what? Your Royal Highness? Yes, yeah. your Royal okay. Highness, yeah. And then I have to remember, your Royal Highness, your Royal, Royal Highness. Then it's, <laughs> when we've been playing around, oh, Queen's coming, Queen's coming. Then everybody, <laughs> then, what, what, should I, what should I say? Then I see oh, the Queen, the, well, stop, 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 so quick. You know, dun, 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 dun. I say, oh, okay. Then when she comes, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Then I just immediately, you're right, you're right. You immediately yeah. bow. <laughs> Too low. She's stand, still standing there. The people into the Jackie Chan, uh, oh. <laughs> she keep talking to me. 
My head is empty. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Jackie Chan. He's always fun. How do you not like Jackie Chan? He's a fun guy. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Really? I, of course, I'm so happy just standing here more than like a three minute, five minute. But I just don't go away, please. please. No, don't talk to me nervous. anymore. I, I don't know how to answer back. Oh, I'm going to America. That's right. Oh, the Osbournes. I love the Osbournes. Yes. I don't know who's on the other end, but yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a, that's a hell of a service. <laughs> All I got was a glass of champagne. That's Gervais. Oh, it's Gervais. Okay. I didn't recognize him from that angle. Can we say whisked on BBC One? I think you can. Because you can't say whisked off. Oh, that, yeah. You can say pissed off, though, can't you? Yes. Sharon. Good night. <laughs> now, uh, 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 did you drive yourself here tonight? No. No, no I've got my driving li li license. No, I'm still on driving me. Wait, would you get in the car with them? If it's a, uh, come on, the last time you did, uh, the the hesitation. Mine. No, it depends. <laughs> but now my husband is officially allowed to drive, yes, I would get in the car with him. Very diplomatic answer, Sharon. I know, yeah. Well done. It only took 61 years. But, but, I mean, in terms of teaching you, did... No, well, before I was too pissed to drive. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I mean, I would go, go for my test, and I would go, I'd see me, and I'd go, no, Mr. Osborne, come back another day. I'm oh, my God. <laughs> Walking around the test center with a bottle of ice cream in my pocket, didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Did you learn in a manual or an automatic? I can drive anything when I've had a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. That's a good response. That's funny. Look at Sharon. She likes it too. Is there anything you can use yet? No. <laughs> Is the blue no, channel? Is that, is, that, is that the racy channel? But it's a proper western. I mean, we see oh, Tom good. Hanks gun toting, which we rarely see. Well, I don't have, I don't wear one. I am given one later on, so it's not like you know, I'm not doing the rootin' tootin' <laughs> kind of. Thing. But I, 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 I ride a horse. And um, I drive a wagon, and I've discovered. So I'm not a I'm not a rider per se, but I did learn. I, I had a fabulous, got to know a fabulous horse named Wimpy, who was my horse. Aww. Wimpy was my horse. And, oh, uh, it's the COVID yeah, era. I see. Is, has ridden a lot, or Zoom Hanks, and everybody's six feet apart in the studio. Belt, as I recall. Emily, Emily Blunt. Darling, how are you? How are you? So wonderful to see it's you. It's good to see you. Emily I'm Blunt. A, do you know I'm about to do a western? Like next January, well, I'm doing a six part Western, and we were just discussing how allergic I am to horses, and I do every <laughs> scene with a horse, you know. I'm gonna well, be antihistamined up to my eyeballs. Do you have to kiss the horse? I do. That kind of Doesn't that, isn't that what happens in Westerns? You make out with your horse? <laughs> oh, she's so funny. For those I love her. Uh, you and Wimpy. You know, you kinda, every morning you throw your arms around Wimpy and say, How are you, my darling little chest? Not, I'm so nuts about you. Which you sort of have to do because I have a feeling that horses, honestly, they would much rather live in a world without human beings yeah. climbing on top of them. Yeah, and probably. they know the they're, moment they're, you climb on their back that you're terrible at riding. Like, I mean, I've been learning right now. I'm, I'm in London now rehearsing for it. And I go riding three times a week, and every time they give me a different horse to see, you know, how you fare oh. with one that's more sprightly or one that's less of a Ferrari. And I got on one the other day called Rusty. <laughs> My God, it almost took off with me. It was terrifying. <laughs> I couldn't walk the next day. Rusty did me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Emily. <laughs> Nailed it. Rusty did me in. <laughs> Jimmy Tornan. Is that the name of the film? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of your films. 
<laughs> oh my god. So I gotta say about Emily Blunt, I love her. I I loved her already with Devil Wears Prada, which is the first thing I think I saw her in. But then I watched Young Victoria, which speaks to my nerd heart, and I loved it so much, and she was so great. And then she's one of the actresses where I feel like there's gotta be someone who hates her. So definitely, if, if you if you hate Emily Blunt or just don't care for her, let me know because I feel like she's one of those people that most people seem to like. But I always like to find the folks who don't like someone, even if for no reason, Leanne Rhymes, and, and let me know. Patrick Stewart, and you don't really use the sir much, do you? Oh, um, I love Patrick Stewart. Love all these people, as usual. Well, should I, sorry, should I have been calling you? No, I shouldn't. Am I supposed to? No. Okay. But, but no. do, do you? I take my lead from Sir Ian, I, whom we uh, both shared some time with. Yes. Gandalf. And, uh, he, is, he is so phlegmatic about all of that and and i just you know it's a great honor but it's not something that i need to press when you bump into another sir when you're out and about do you then do you <laughs> you call each other uh, sir you, uh, well you sir, know you, sir. you must work, sir, roll in sir, sir circles okay yeah. circles oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> circles but i'm bumped <laughs> Can I be the ignorant American and ask, I, so how do you become a sir? Um, well, That's a fair question. I, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. You know, it's a case of... Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I got He's mine so on the Queen's birthday honors. Mm. But uh, you have reminded me that I did have a sir encounter only a few weeks ago in Los Angeles. A rather fancy, in fact, extremely fancy restaurant. <laughs> well, tell them uh, what it is, because they'll know. Um, it was the, uh, the, the, the Tower Bar. Uh, Sunset Tower? See? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. These guys no, are no, cool. No, no, I'm no, not no, cool. no, no, no. Say, say, say it again. Look up the it. The Tower Bar. Oh, man, the oh, Tower <laughs> Jamie's like, set me up again, set me up again. <laughs> I, yeah. I got a feeling this isn't going to work out it's quite the way. <laughs> um, so we, we had the four of us were seated at a table about 15 minutes later into the restaurant walks Sir Paul McCartney. Wow, oh. good. Now, yeah. Paul and I have a very Big one. slender relationship, but it's lasted wow. decades. Okay. I, I first encountered him in 1964. No. When his girlfriend, Jane Asher, then had told him that I loved Aston Martins. I was driving a battered old Ford, but Aston Martins <laughs> were my dream car. Mm. She told him this. And one night, yeah, we knew he was seeing the show. There was a knock on my door. And I said, yeah, come in. I'm there in my underwear. Mm. You know, like As usual. <laughs> <laughs> I hang around like that just in the hope. And, um, Come in, I'm in my pants. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> hey, sirs can do whatever they want, right? And the door opened, and standing there was Paul McCartney, who I had never met before. And this was 1964. Wow. And, uh, oh, yeah. the peak. He said, Jane says that you like Aston Martins. Here, drive this. Wow. And he tossed a bunch of keys over. That's pretty to me. cool. And it was an ass. It was his. Very nice. Cool. Mm, very nice. Easy. Anyway, do you want to hear the rest? Keep going. Keep okay. going. Okay. We're in. Yes. We're in oh, the so fanciest we're, restaurant we're, in LA. Yeah. We're now in the Tower Bar. <laughs> tower Bar. <laughs> 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 Who are It's a legend. <laughs> Saunders is a legend. Less, less good. <laughs> Come in. Wait, You've known him since the sixties. And uh, uh, he sees me and comes over, and uh, I stand up and say hi, and we have a big hug oh. in the restaurant. And I'm very much aware that there's uh, all the tables are full and this kind of thing. And we talk for five or six minutes, and he goes and sits down. Five minutes go by, and into the restaurant walks Sir Ringo Starr. Go, oh, come on! I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> making this. Were they together? Yeah. They were. They were, oh, they were at the same table. Well, they were at the same yes. table. Yes. Okay. Oh, that makes a little more well, sense. Okay, yeah. Uh, Stop. We, we, uh, at the tower. At the tower. The tower. tower. <laughs> good. Oh, man, I am expecting so many free meals. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, 
We finish early, and I get up to go, and Paul stands up to say goodbye, and we have a hug. And as we have a hug, he says into my ear, do you know Ringo? I said, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I've never met him, but I'm, he said, oh, boy, Ringo, come on, come over here. <laughs> Hang on a minute, he said, Sir Ringo, Sir wow. Patrick, Sir Paul. <laughs> hey, we've got the Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like like he's a champ, like a storytelling champ, which he is. That was good. That that was that, you know that just reinforces what I've said before about you know how this show never ceases to amaze me with the talent that they bring in with each episode. I, again, whoever does like bookings for this show, I mean, has got to be one of the best in the business because the teams that they assemble on these sofas, again, I know I sound like a broken record, but they just are so great. And I love hearing the stories from Patrick Stewart, sir, sir, Patrick Stewart. He is so great. And I love him because he always is so down to earth. You know, and, and he'll even say, like, do you want to hear the rest of the story? Like, he's, he's just so good. But all of these these celebrities that, that I see on here, you know, are awesome. And I said in the last video that, you know, I know that more often than not, a lot of them might be there to plug a project or, or whatever they're working on. But it never feels like that. Now, to be fair, I'm only watching snippets. And I, 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 I appreciate that fact. But... I'm just saying that I feel like even the full episodes are less about promoting things and more about just having a great time and chatting, you know, and the drinks, of course, lots of little drinks are on the table. Um, but yeah, but even, even the folks who don't seem that inebriated are still just so great. And I love how it's it never, again, just like I was saying a minute ago, it never ceased to amaze me also that they have people that have amazing stories to tell. It's like, you know, you think eventually you're going to hit one celebrity. Maybe you guys know of one where, like, they just kind of fell flat on, on the show. And I'm up for watching those as well. You know, I don't want it to be everything just perfect all the time. But I haven't seen one yet. Every, everyone has a story to tell. And even the ones that kind of stumble through it, even that almost becomes funny. So, yeah, a great time as always. And I am so glad that you joined me for this. It makes it so much better. I, I, I know I've said it before, but I truly mean it. What you guys write in the comments even if I don't get to answer every single one of them, I read them all and I appreciate the time that you guys put into saying the trivia, the things I don't know, the actors and actresses I don't recognize. That is so, so helpful to me as well as recommending the shows like Taskmaster that I still can't wait to get into, like What I Lied to You, which I'm already enjoying. All of that I owe to you guys. So thank you again for that. Yeah, great time today. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day slash night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble 